Hello, boys and girls, rabbits and squirrels, and welcome back to another edition of NC Texas. Um, this is Barbecue Crawl 2021. So I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, I've got another place I'm going here in a, in a few days. I'll tell you more about that when it happens. Um, but today we're we're going to one of the top 10 um, from Texas Monthly Best 50 Barbecue Joints in Texas. This is always very subjective. I mean, uh, we Texans are just like, you know, anybody else, New Yorkers or North. Okay, let me rephrase that. Um, we Texans are just like anybody else when it comes to barbecue. We've all got our own opinions. Um, I think in some other states, they're, they're real big on sauces, things like that. I don't care. I didn't even try the sauce at uh, Panther City, where we're going today. Panther City um, was actually in the top 10, is number 10. I said in the video they were number three. I don't know why, I, I may have said it more than once, but they're actually number 10 uh, in my hometown, Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, there's a, another place that was actually number one that's in Fort Worth, and we'll get to that as soon as we can. But I wanted to try this place. I had heard about them before, but I'd never been there, wasn't even sure where they were. So I was, I was excited, I was looking forward to, to trying this place, especially once I went online and looked at the menu. And you'll see why here in just a minute. So let's go. I'm going to try to hit as many of these uh, top tens as I can. A lot of them are pretty close. Um, you know, one's in Houston. And, you, know, you got your Austin places. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to do the best I can. Steve may be going with me. Uh, Steve may not depend on his work and you know my work, whatever. Anyway, let's go. Let's find something to eat. Well, we got Steve with me, and we're on the hunt. We're on the hunt for panthers. We're gonna eat barbecue panther. Panther City. Yeah, Panther City barbecue. Now, I I read about this. It's uh, it was one of the top fifty uh, barbecue places in Texas, um, as rated by the um, Texas, Texas, Monthly. Texas Monthly. Yeah, and they come out with this every year. So two of the, the, the top three are actually here in Fort Worth. The other one uh, doesn't open until Friday. We'll check that out at another time. But we're going to find out what Panther City has here. There's a line. Are you yeah. surprised? Uh, no. No. It's five minutes till 11, so I guess they open in about five minutes. We're going to go get in line. Here we go. And then we'll update you. Yeah, we'll tell you how the Panther tastes. <laughs> Yeah, it's just in the, in the jalapenos. Boy, that smelled good, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Good grief. All right, so we're, we've moved up in the line. We're, we're third back. All right. Hey guys, what do, do y'all got to say about this man? Oh, Chris Brother, here. The food does all the talking. That's all I can say. <laughs> I'm speechless. All I can do is eat. Well, I'm just... <laughs> I, honest, I could care less for the guy. I'm here for the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the answer I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> so this is Chris. And Chris, what do you do for uh I'm co-owner pit master here, so a little bit of everything, but mainly head dishwasher. Yeah. So you wear a lot of hats without wearing a hat? Uh, all the hats. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so we're going to try your um, your uh, your barbecue here. Of course, we read about it in Texas Monthly. Uh -huh. they, they come out with their top 50, and we've hit a bunch of them. Some of them were overrated, and right. some of them were exactly what we were expecting. That if that yeah. tastes as good as it looks, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. not going to be disappointed. Well, ho hopefully we match up. So yeah. How long have y'all been open? Uh, we opened in January 2018 here. Oh, 2018. Okay. I thought I'd heard of this. See, I'm on a, a Facebook channel, Barbecue 24, right. Barbecue 24 Hours, or something like that, 24/7. Uh -huh. And somebody had mentioned this place, and I was like, right. Where is that? I've never, never been there before. So we've been to Hines, we've been to 407, right. and all this stuff. So um, look for us uh, on NC Texas, and uh, I'll do a little review here and. I bet it's good. All right, look forward to it. Thank All right, you. so what do you recommend, though? Uh, 
that brisket elote, I really think you'll like that. That's one of our that's one of our top menu items, and definitely the brisket. I'm a brisket guy. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> so is this dude. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. You can tell. I'm almost the uh, same size. As this dude. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm I'm right there, man. I'm right there. <laughs> I've been work, I've been working on this table muscle for years. <laughs> right, I sure appreciate right, your time, guys. man. Appreciate you. You bet. So you tried potato salad, you said what? It reminds me of a uh, German coleslaw, which is, tends to be very vinegary. Mm -hmm. And this has got a spice in it, very spicy. Not overly spicy, oh. but wow. Good. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we had to try a little bit of everything. Now he, he's the, the, if Mary Kay's not here, you're my bean tester. Oh, I'm the bean tester. Right. So tell me what you think of that. It's got cilantro. They they got cilantro in there. What, what kind of cheese is that? Yeah, it looks like uh, brie or um, no, it's a uh, brie. I don't think we're here a second. Not not goat cheese, but uh, editing me will put it in. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. in, in the future, as I'm yeah, but, but the beans are cooked perfectly. They got bacon in there. It's got you see the jalapeno. They're, they're not hard. A little bit of heat, really good. All right. Mm, excellent. All right, so let's do this. Look at right. this. All right, I, yeah. That, you can do that, you got up. Look at that. You got brisket on top of cream corn. I mean, this is an interesting combination. Mm -hmm. And that is the elote, E-L-O-T-E. -E. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's elote. We should have it's elote, yeah. This is very interesting. Wow. Now, if you like cream corn, <laughs> brisket. Mm -hmm. You're going to love this. I ding down the bottom. Look at all that corn. Yep. Wow. All right, so finally, you, you must try the brisket. Mm -hmm. And then I'll give you, uh, give you my review here in a second. Here, we were going to split this. Here. Yeah, gonna, we are. I'm going to hand you a rib. Look at these ribs. I know. They're huge. Huge ribs. Where'd they get that pig? <laughs> <laughs> I should have gotten it. Yeah, is it peppery? Alright, I'm, I'm tasting some sweetness. Look at that. I'm tasting it on the ribs. Well, it's cooked right. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't specify uh, lean or, uh, well, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't, if I had ordered it, I wouldn't even specify. It's got some pepper in it. There's some pepper up. I'm getting it mostly on the skin. On the bark? But, uh, it's perfect. All right, all right, yeah. Yeah. my yeah. turn. Really good. All right, so I got the sausage with cheese and jalapeno. And look, good grief. Huge. They don't pull around. I mean, they, they give you some food. Here. Big portions. Look how thick the slap on. I know. The ribs are huge. You know, the slices are thick on the brisket. Let's see if the sauce is any good. Boy, it looks good. So far. I couldn't wait on you. I had to try the rib. Go ahead. I think you don't like the rib. This sausage has plenty of cheese. So many times you get sausage, they go, jalapeno cheese sausage. You don't even notice the cheese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know, man. Dang. Let's see what I think of the brisket. So the sausage has a little heat. You, you can tell there's. You can tell there's jalapenos in there. You can tell there's cheese. Without a doubt. They teach a class as well. I, I own Uncle Don's barbecue. I own Uncle Don's Barbecue. Oh, <laughs> no, but I mean, just as advertisement. Yeah, I, I, I did not know that. I did not, so they, they teach classes, and I once a month, or? Yeah, they advertise it on social media. Oh, really? Okay. All right. I'll, I'll find out. How is it, Uncle Don? I'm telling you, man, um, the, the pork ribs are huge. They give you the whole thing. It's not, you know, the little short, you know, ribs. Sausage is huge. Homemade. It's got cheese. Homemade. You did? Oh, oh he did. Cheese. It's homemade. I, I, it had to be. It had to be because yeah. you never get sausage you know, with that much cheese and well, that much alpaca. You don't even that, notice the cheese. Most the I don't know yet. I'm going to find out in a minute. They, they look awesome. <laughs> when, I, when I read about them, that was one of the reasons I came here. Because we go all over the place. We try brisket. We try ribs. Sometimes sausage. But we try. We want to try different things that guys are doing like, like that. Right here. That. Yeah. Right here. This, this and, right here is okay. I love order it. you a pork, a uh, pulled pork sandwich, and tell Ernie put that on top. Yeah, yeah. 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 I learned that in North Carolina. Right here, I, I, I was in North Carolina on business one time, and um, everybody was telling me, "Yeah, in North Carolina they do pulled pork and they put coleslaw on on the sandwich." So I was like, "Idiots!" <laughs> but while I'm there, I thought I gotta try it. Yeah. And they it was, barbecue sauce there. I know that was a problem. I didn't, but but it was really good. I mean, but coleslaw on a sandwich just didn't to me. Now I'm a believer. Now I'm a believer. You yeah, know, he especially made one, that. He made one for a young lady I know. And he's like, she took a picture. She's like, she works at barbecue stuff. Yeah. She's like, oh God, this is better. <laughs> well, I the barbecue pit master and go, but I make mine with the turkey. Yeah. So if you get that brisket instead of brisket, I do the turkey. Just to give it more flavor. That would be good. It's called the Robin Lopez. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> the brisket, first bite. It's not your regular Texas brisket. Not a lot of pepper. You get the salt. It's got a nice bark. Like I said, it's cooked perfectly. Did you taste any sweetness? A little bit. Mm -hmm. That's does grab my taste right away. Yeah, and boy, you, you never get that. that. No, you never get that. <laughs> Interesting. So they, they, they're adding sugar. Mm -hmm. Maybe brown sugar. But mm -hmm. it's not overpowering. No. Nah. Okay, so now I've got, I've got to try this. Look at this guy. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> That's a meal itself. I know. Yeah. You need to try one of these. Grab one. All right, so it looks like it's got uh, cream cheese. It's been smoked. Yeah. You can see the smoke on the cheese. Sort of mm -hmm. wow. First bite, I only got a little bit of burn in. But boy, it's good. This is a, a nice addition to that jalapeno and bacon. And I love bacon and jalapenos. This makes it even better. Well, success. Damn. Yeah, really good. Mm hmm. I'll do this again. Oh, you know what? I haven't tried pork rib. I gotta try pork rib. Yeah, we need to do that. Two thing. Got some sweetness there. Mm -hmm. I like sweetness with pork. I always have. That's why I'm, I put honey and brown sugar on mine. Again, you're getting the whole rib. You know, yeah. yep. 
and it's you got a bite out of it. That's beautiful red, and you can see the seasoning on top, so they didn't pull around. All right, you see your shirt. <laughs> Hold still. Yeah. We're recording. I don't recall hitting the button, but we're recording. I'm so, glad we're recording. Yeah, me too. Me too, because I've got a lot to say. I always have a lot to say. You always have a lot to say. Say something. <laughs> it was really, really, really good. It was really good. Uh, I, th I thought that was ingenious. Um, I like trying different things. We, you know, we always get the, we always get, you have to get the brisket. This is Texas, all right? We have to try the pork ribs, you know, the, the usuals. Um, I thought the uh, the sausage was exceptional. Uh, I thought the burnt ends in that oh, jalapeno wrapped in bacon, yeah, yeah. it was like nothing I've ever had before. Well, I love burnt ends, but you know, like, remember, I'm not gonna mention any names, but there was one place we went and it was just chewy. I mean, yeah. you'd take a bite and you'd be chewing off for 30 minutes. This was not, this was done right. I mean, it just, it bit right off, it was great. Uh, brisket was really good, it was cooked really well. It was, like I said, a little bit of a shocker because it, uh, I'm so used to, you know, so much pepper. This is Texas, it's salt, pepper, you know. Yeah. Uh, twice as much uh, pepper as, as salt. Uh, this this had a little bit different season, almost sweet. Well, yeah, I, I noticed that right off the bat is uh, I get out of this guy's way. I mean, put it in my mouth. There's a little bit of sweetness went away quickly, so it's not overdone. Mm -hmm. And then and then like you said, the pepper wasn't a lot of pepper. It was in the bark. Yeah, it, it had a decent bark, but man, it was so tender it fell apart. Yeah, it was. That was and and you you could taste the salt. Yeah, you know, yep. just didn't really taste pepper that much, but, but yep. it was, yeah, it was really good. It was, you know, you don't want to get to, it, if it tasted like every other barbecue place in Texas, it'd be yep. boring. Yep. All right. Okay. No, it was, it was really good. I, I definitely recommend this place. Uh, I thought the um, the ribs were really good. They were, they were yep. again huge, and those were sweet. They were sweet. I, I would have preferred a little bit more savory. Yeah. Um, I would have for me, not me. I like a little bit more pepper on them, but. They, mm -hmm. they, were, they were good, very good. But they, they were really good, yeah. And lots of lots for your money. I mean, yeah. lots of value. Yes, they absolutely. Give you a lot of meat. Yep. <laughs> and, so. I mean, they they fill the plate. All right. So the sides. Um, I did not try the the, uh, the coleslaw, but you seemed to really like it. Like it was. I like it, it but German. I mean, it, it's kind of like a German recipe. It's uh, the the vinegar the vinegar recipe, mm -hmm. and, and, but then it's got the spice in. So there's a little bit of heat, not overdone. It yeah. looked. It that looked was really good. And remember, the one guy came to the table while we were there, and he said he likes the, uh, the either the pulled pork or the turkey sandwich with the slaw on Side, it. And yep. you, you talked about you tried that in North Carolina. You said these people are crazy. I and thought they, they were said, nuts. Wow! But then I took whole, a bite and I was like, whole different. This yeah. works. Yeah. yeah, this works. You the know. slaw was good. The beans were excellent. I mean, most beans are the common beans. Sometimes they're overcooked. These guys had the right amount of uh, seasoning in it. Uh, There's a fine line with yeah, beans. Really good. Because yeah. beans, you can get they're undercooked, they're hard, yeah, or they're overcooked and they're these, mush. These were perfectly. So you have to you have to they hit were, that that fine line. Nice and tender. What about the elote? Oh, now that's completely different. Now describe it. What what, what was in it? Well, that's basically what that is: is shredded brisket over cream corn. And so now I, I know some people. Oh, cream corn! If you don't like cream corn, you may not like this dish because I'd say it's coming in a plastic bin. It's about uh, about half of it to two thirds of it was cream corn, and then they got the uh, shredded beef on top of that. Well, um, now I, I and, saw and, you eating it, and I saw whole kernels. I mean, yeah, it wasn't all cream. I mean, it was no, no. When I say cream, I'm sorry. It kind of had a cream it, in it. It, it, had a, it had a creamier finish, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it's not cream corn out, out of a can. I mean, yeah. this stuff is fresh, and it was really good. That was excellent. And I just want to make a point about your sausage. I mean, we, we know this isn't sausage they bought in store. No, it isn't. No, they, they made it's it. It's homemade, because mm -hmm. it is like... It's it's almost twice as big as a normal sausage. Yeah, I've never, I've never got a sausage. Full of cheese, full of uh, jalapenos. It was yeah, really, a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Um, really, when they really say really jalapeno cheese, they're not kidding. They weren't kidding. It, yeah. It's, it's uh, the real deal. It was so, really good. so I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Uh, yeah. I think we'll, we'll be back. We'll good. bring some uh, some friends, some other barbecue aficionados. Yes. Can, can we try the, the number one? What was number one? The number one Texas monthly. Oh, that's right. Well, we, we'll we, reveal that we're, later. We're,
we we can't get there for another week or two. Yeah, so and you know what? Here. Just because Texas Monthly says it's number one yeah. doesn't mean we're going to say it's yeah, number five, one. Yeah, five right. years ago they said Snows was number one. Sorry. <laughs> it, it never made number one in my book. It's good, but it wasn't number one. Yeah. So, anyway, well, uh, yeah. you want to you want to go look at uh, some firearms? Yeah, we're in we're in Texas, so we we have to, especially North Texas, we have to go and get guns today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pick one up. I, I told you about that one yeah. nine millimeter. Yeah. I might go ahead and pull the trigger. I oh, get it. I might start a bidding war on it, and you can pay more than what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Drive the price up, huh? Exactly. All right. Well, till next folks. time. Panther City. Yeah. Be a good stop. Yeah.